Hello, this is Mike, and in this video we're going to be going through CatMotion, uh, the Character Animation Toolkit's procedural motion generator. And what CatMotion can do for you is get a character up and running, or walking in this case, uh, pretty much right away. Uh, and then it provides a large amount of control to, to vary the, the type of walk or run cycle that you want to, uh, to, to create for your character. So uh, why don't I just show it to you first, and then we'll go through how to set this, this walk cycle, cycle up, and then after we have the walk cycle done, we'll go ahead and export that out to, to the Unreal Engine using ActorX. So uh, what we're looking at here is the walk cycle, and if we go into the, uh, the motion panel, I'll stop this guy and pick on any cat bone, the first thing you'll see right here is the layer manager area, and the button that you should be most focused on right now is the setup animation mode toggle button. When it's red, it's in setup mode, and that's basically setting it up so you can position the rig, mess around with the rig, do your skinning, all that kind of stuff, all the stuff that you do in figure mode if you're a biped user. And then when you press this button and go into animation mode, it looks at what you have inside of your layer uh, manager right here to see what kind of animation you have. And you'll see that this first layer is a cat motion layer, and we'll be going through that in two seconds. And then the next layer is an adjustment layer, and I did that to alter the um, animation on top of what I got from the cat motion. This will all become pretty clear in a second. So um, to show you the cat motion, I think it'd probably be easiest if I just kill these two layers. And uh, so we'll be starting from, from where you are with your character. So right now I'm in uh, setup animation mode. I can't click on it or do anything with it because there is no layer type. There's no layers in here. So to add a layer, you go to this little button right here, the add layer button, and you click and hold it. And there's four options. There's absolute layer, local, world, and cat motion layer. Uh, there's a lot to, to learn with these different layers, but in this video, we're just gonna be going through cat motion. Uh, so we just drag that, on, drag that on there, cat motion, got it press the animation mode toggle button, and now we have our default cat motion. So this is what it made by default. Um, if you have a four-legged, eight-legged, 20-legged character, it does a pretty good job of getting it going. And uh, it's a pretty good starting spot considering how much control you have uh, for the procedural stuff. So to alter it procedurally. So to alter it procedurally, or to alter any of the cat motion settings, we're gonna go to the cat motion editor right here. And this little paw print brings up the cat motion dialog box. So while the animation is playing, I'm gonna go through here and change some of these settings so that you can see how this, this works. Um, by just putting the cat motion layer on there by default, we've got this walk cycle. So what we wanna do is start altering it. Um, and the first place that I go is the globals. So underneath pre presets, there's globals. And uh, basically what this is saying is how, how long should I be doing cat motion for? You know, in this case, it's only 25 frames. And then the next value is the max step time. So that's 25. So basically we have a 25 frame walk cycle. Um, if I wanted to make this a 20 frame walk cycle, I could just change this to 20. And you'll see now he's walking a bit faster. And we're not looping because now we have 25 frames. We want 20. So now that we're back to 20 frames, now we got our 20 frame walk cycle. So the next value down is the stride length. And if we go from the side here, you can see because my guy's got little stubby legs, that's what he's looking like right there. If I change the stride length instead of 160, I'll just type in 80. You'll see now he's making a much smaller walk cycle, much smaller stride. Um, now the, the other thing that I'll, I noticed right away because my character again is short and his feet are barely touching the ground, I wanna be able to offset this character's pelvis and mid body all the way to a little bit closer to the ground. And the way that we do that is we just roll down here into the hub area and there's hub two group and then hub two, and if you'd actually named your stuff properly, <laughs> let's go do that actually. I'm gonna go in here and name this pelvis. I was pretty sloppy with the naming as mentioned previously in the other tutorial. So I'm gonna close this up, I'm gonna go into cat motion, and then you can see pelvis, pelvis group. So there's pelvis. And then here's all the settings that you can change for the pelvis. Twist, roll, pitch, lift, push, weight shift, offset position, and offset rotation. So right off the bat, what I want to do is offset its position down a little bit in the world. So I'm just going to grab X and drag it down, and you can see that this just brings the character down a little bit. And you can animate this, or you can just uh, set a value with animation off, and that'll just offset everything. So now when I do my walk cycle, you can see he's a little bit squatter and his feet are touching the ground. The next thing is, is that he's, he's got quite a bit of side-to-side -side motion, a lot of twisting, and a lot of up and down, and that's basically just twist, lift, and weight shift. So the way that I go through and kind of just tame this walk cycle is 
if you if you look and you pick on a certain uh, category, like I've picked twists, there's the curve here that's showing what it's going to do in a single walk cycle. And then I go to scale, and I just hold down control and click on the spinner. And you can see now, if we looked from this, this angle, if you look at how much twist the pelvis has, and then I calm it down like so, now there's not so much twisting on the, on the x-axis. And then the next thing is roll. And I'll just calm that down a little bit as well. A little bit too much. Like so. And then weight shift is what's making them bounce from side to side. And so we'll go ahead and calm that down. And then the last thing is lift, and that's how much he's bouncing up and down. And uh, you know, I could leave it there depending on what kind of attitude you want for your character, or you can completely kill it, or you can make it backwards. So all just values that you can mess with here in the scale. Push is another one that's zeroed out by default, and that's just how far forward the pelvis pushes along each, um, you know, however you have this curve set up. So if I grab you know, this guy and this guy and drag it up, you can see his pelvis is now pushing forward a little bit, kind of cycling there if you want that. Uh, at any time you can right click on these spinners and set them to zero, so it'll kill them. Um, and then the same thing goes for all of the other uh, hub systems and, and legs and arms for this for the character. You basically can go in there and there's all these procedural values that you can go through. And I, you know, this, this tutorial is not gonna go through all of the details of this. I think it's just something that, you know, you spend some time playing around with the values. It's all real time, so you can have it playing and, and whatnot. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention before we go uh, into what we're going to actually do for the Unreal Engine part of it is the is the fact that inside the globals, um, it's set to walk on spot by default. Um, and for what our purposes are, where we're making a character that um, we're going to control using the Unreal Engine or any game engine for that matter, we would we would like him to be on, in spot. We don't want him moving in a line. That's one button click away where he now he actually starts to walk. So if I wanted to, I could set the cat motion range to something like 400 set my animation max times time frames to 400 and just let them walk off the screen so and then you know if i made his stride length twice as much as you might imagine it'll walk twice as far and twice as fast um so the cool thing about this is that if you do get into to getting into using matinee or doing any kind of um cinematics where the animation is is not all in place and you actually want it having have it happen uh, where it would happen in the world you know this is one way that you can get characters walking um, you know through the world and then even more interesting is that uh, you can have it walk on a path node so what I've done is set up really quickly um, a path and then a dummy on the path with a path constraint on there so right now the path just the uh, the dummy just goes along the path and I have follow turned on as well so that the uh, the dummy will, will rotate and follow along in the spline and then all you need to do is instead of walking on a line, you say, I want to walk on this path node and just click the dummy. And so what it does is now the character is going to walk with the path node and it creates all the footsteps um, based on how fast that path node was. If I go in there and I start messing with the path nodes uh, speed, then I'll get a different reaction. I'll feel basically now he's going to walk that much faster. So we'll let that play real quick. And the cool thing about this is that um, much like the biped footsteps, if anybody's messed with those, is that you can go into these and just move them around. Um, so I, just to show that, I'll push these guys out to the side. And then these guys in real close. And maybe this one up in the air a bit. And then get them back there. And we'll give it a play, and you'll see that he'll, he'll walk up onto that footstep right there. And then he'll get all his legs close together to hit those and then spread them apart. So he'll hit the footsteps wherever you put them. And if he can't, if he can't hit it, then he'll do something along this lines. If I, yeah, he'll try to hit it like so. Good try. So that's a cat motion, walking in spot, walking in a line, walking in a path. Now these are all the different modes. So we'll just put it on, back on walk on spot. I'm going to turn off this path setting. 